Hi guys, this is Harry and welcome to Stuff You Should Buy. Today I'm doing an unboxing of another new lens that I got um, and I'm also using my wonderful and most awesome camera that I'm just blown away by, the uh, EOS 5D, the Mark III. Um, I'm not using my lapel mic with this, I'm being a bit lazy today. I'm just making a straight recording using the mic that comes off the actual camera. Now. I hope it comes out good because this is the first time I'm using it for this. Now, um, I've got the box here. I, I purchased myself a, uh, a, a Tamron lens and it's, as you can see, it's got an f2.8. It's, all this stuff basically is a stabilization and all that nice stuff that it does, autofocus. Um, 24 to 70 uh, mil. I am learning about this stuff too, by the way, guys. So, you know, I don't know everything perfect, but um, this is the box that comes in. I'm going to unbox it, show you uh, what it's like. And the lens I'm currently uh, using at the moment is a 50 mil. Um, it's a, a 50 mil 1.4. Okay, it's an f 1.4, and it's also a, no, sorry, not also. It is a Sigma lens. Um, it's a brilliant lens, and I've taken some shots. My goodness, uh, with it. Now, just to unbox this, I'm going to try and do my best because what's happened here is because it's a fixed lens. Um, if you notice if I do this it'll go out of focus and it won't auto adjust unless I sort of press the button if I go too far back so well it's not too bad further back but just to get sort of a rough idea and I'm, I'm sort of working sideways here so um, just to unbox now I got this lens really good and again Michaels came through they won it um, I, I got the lens for 1060 um, it was 1300 um, brought down from 1499 I went to JB, went to Camera House, um, uh, went to Ted's, and again, Michael's came through. Uh, opening it up. Now, I haven't opened this before, mind you, okay, so I've got no idea what we're looking at here. I'm just going to go with the flow. Um, I'm guessing, you know, you've got your pamphlet in here. It's got some information and most likely the warranty paperwork that comes with it. It uh, gives you a bit of info about the, the lens itself and sort of, you know, what's what. Um, but it is an unboxing, so we'll just get to the unboxing and not make this drag out anymore. Alright, so what have we got here? This is what it looks like from the top. Okay, I'm, I'm guessing you just take it and pull it out like this. So, I just, God, I hope it is. It'll be an epic fail. There we are. All right, taking it that way. Okay, and then it just pretty much just sort of get my hands out of the way. It splits open. Um, bit of foam here, protecting it. It's a beautiful, nice, heavy lens. Okay. I'll just move this stuff out of the way so you can see this. All right, awesome. Comes with one of these uh, covers again. Uh, I got one as well on the uh, 50 mil. Uh, apparently they're used for when you're out doing shots during the day. Uh, it helps to stop sort of that sort of light that you can get a beaming across the lens and it yeah, comes out all funny. So that's what that does. It sort of protects it, sits over the top like that and sort of, you know, protects it that way. Anyway. Um, let's take this puppy out. Woof! Whoa, look at that. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah. Look at this, ready, ready? Oh yeah, look at that. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Fantastic. Um, okay, so I'm not sure how well you can see that. Let's pinch this out. Yeah, look at that. Look at that, it's monstrous, it's awesome. It's awesome. Can't wait to try this out. Um, I will probably put some images at the end of this video uh, just to show how, you know, how it worked out and how good it is. Um, lock. I'm not really sure again what that's for. It's probably to lock in the focus or something like that. Right, just pop this down. Okay, interesting. It'll lock here. It won't lock it. Anyway, um, so as I said, uh, 24 to 70 mil, uh, which I got, and 
pretty much it's got AF um, so auto focus uh, or manual focus which you can just switch over here um, and you've got image stabilization here which on or off and now I have seen on YouTube other guys doing this and it's brilliant and I think I'll do it as well at the end of the video just to show you they basically just shake the camera like that while they're uh, recording with it on off and then just switch it on while doing that and literally the video itself it goes from just sort of all over the place to perfect <laughs> almost you know it's very so apparently they're really good uh, especially for the price these 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 are they're awesome um, anyway look like I said there's not a whole lot much that I know about uh, about this but I just thought I'd show you guys and unbox it I will show you how it how it turns out I'll, I'll put some video sample and image samples at the end of this video but short and sweet um, that's all there really is at this point if you have any questions uh, please post them even if I don't know it'll help me learn more because I will research it and I will get back to you um, if you um, yeah want to know anything please post uh, I'll get back to you as I always do if you have subscribed thank you if you haven't please subscribe um, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, I'm sorry, I did my best. Um, what else can I say? Yeah, other than that, that's pretty much it. And again, look, if I've left anything out, I'm really sorry, guys. It's just sort of, this is all new to me, myself, and I'm just sharing it with all of you. Um, so that's about it. Thanks for watching Stuff You Should Buy, and yeah, I will be putting up some more cool videos soon. Oh, by the way, actually, before I go, I just want to let you guys know that I also got a really cool extra battery uh, for this. Now, again, Michael's one, 65 bucks they did this for. Uh, they were ranging around 70, sorry, $79, uh, 65, best price that I could find with them. And also, now, these weren't cheap, but I, I got myself some filters. Apparently, they go over the top of the lens to protect it because um, you, know, you take the lens cover off and, and you're using it and I'll just I could probably do a whole video on this alone but I won't I'll just take it out really high end I got one for the 50 mil and I got one for the new uh, lens here which is I think one's a 77 mil and the other one's an 82 mil which is to be able to fit around this but anyway um, not cheap nearly 200 bucks they did an awesome price 110 reduced and this one here was I think for 45 dollars but I can't remember what it was initially or originally so I don't know how good this is in terms of focus hopefully it's turning out alright that's about it thanks for watching have a wonderful day or night wherever you are hi guys this is Harry and I'm just doing that video test that I wanted to show you guys um, now I've got the 24-70mm uh, to on the camera now, on the Canon. Um, that's just the box you're seeing in the front there. And um, it has got already the stabilization on. Okay, so even though I'm moving around with it. Uh, here's the thing about this lens that makes it so cool. I can zoom and I can focus. You'll probably hear the mechanism now. See that? You'll... you'll the mechanism is obviously uh, noisy and it's being picked up by the inbuilt mic on the camera. If you do have a lapel mic or a boom mic that you plug in, um, it's got an auxiliary on the side where you can plug it in. Um, it should eliminate that sound. I won't know until I've tried that, but hopefully. Um, so yeah, this is why I wanted this lens because I can go zoom in and out and take various photos and so forth and focus in and out. Now. And the other thing I wanted to show you guys is the jittering um, and how cool the, the the VC is, which is the stabilization. I'll turn it off. Okay. So and what I'll do is I'll just jitter right up and down the camera, and then I'll turn it on, and, and you can see as I'm jittering it, it's still moving because I'm obviously moving it a fair bit. Now, if you were recording, it'd be as smooth as you can. Now. I'm just for demonstration sake I am giving it that little bit more but have you noticed how as I'm doing it you can see how it's sort of auto correcting itself it's the mechanism inside is working now if I turn it off there we go give it that little bit of a shake again just slightly okay jittering turning it on see the difference 
turning it off. Yeah, you can actually hear it kicking in, the little motor. Turning it on. So I'm sure you'll be able to see the difference. So that's basically what um, the VC, which is the auto stabilization, uh, is used for to just give you that extra smoothness, which is awesome. Um, and again, you know, I've got the autofocus that works on this. I could try doing it by hand. You'd probably still be able to hear that. It's a lot more smoother in a way than using, say, the mechanism. But look, like I said, either way, if you've got a lapel, it should cut that out. Uh, its own dedi if you've got your own dedicated mic uh, when recording. So that's about it. Uh, thanks for watching. And I'll see you soon.